AC for like 13 hours. Yeah, and basically wow. went to all like the major places like the Federal Reserve. And when, when we rolled up we on the Department of Justice, building and every, Department of Justice has big steel gates, they have eight armed security guards, they ran inside and slammed the gates closed. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude climbed the flagpole and flipped it upside down. <laughs> wow. uh, it was good shit. It, it, was, it was. I mean, they they had the, the entire Capitol building surrounded by cops. Like, but see that see that that that's that's the thing. That's where that's why like, no, nobody has away, enough people. Away, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a presidential protocol. First thing they do is remove the president. Second thing they do is remove vital documents. Then they remove the rest of the staff. My buddy Justin King, he's a CNN reporter. He has pictures. Of, we, we have video of the, the helicopter flying in, and then we have pictures of them removing the filing boxes with all like the vital documents. Wow. Like, you know what I mean? It was, but, see, see, that's the thing. Vital like, documents mean evidence, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Public terms, vital documents. Take all that shit, put it aside. And there's, you get, you get, you get let me try to, like, the three basic points is like the police state. Um, like the financial, like the, off the top of my head, I can't think of it, but it's like basically agree on three common ground points and then implement the change that you're trying to, you know, what, what you want. And then after that, then you can deal with all the other issues at hand. But you, you, you can't, you can't try to change a world, a country, you can't even change a town. If you just throw everything on the table, you can't do it. It will not happen. You have to agree on three. You have to agree. On, you have to agree on basic platform, and then move from there. Yeah, you, it's just it's basically impossible. But yeah. But like I said, uh, I'm not going to be one of these 80 year old grandpas telling stories. So good for you to start. It it's not if it's when. How did, um, how did everybody hear about it? Did you start a web page, Facebook? Facebook. Okay. Strictly on Facebook. And then from there, like, we got a website, millionmassmovement.com, millionmassmarch.wordpress.com. There's the blog. Um, there's then the, the official Facebook page. I mean, go on Google or go on Facebook and just type in Million Mass March and just okay. fucking scroll. I mean, this is, we had a map, and a, we had a, we had like last year we had this like map of like the entire world, and there were like in some countries there were so many like little balloons you couldn't even see like the, like, the green of the, like the fucking continent. You know what I mean? Wow. But uh, so everybody just shares it on Facebook, sends it to their friends list, and they send it to Facebook, their Twitter, list. like any any anything you can do to you know just wake somebody up. Yeah, but that's it's not, it's, it's not million mask. There's a there's a website. It's millionmaskmarch.com, but that was started by this like um, top of my head old crazy cat lady. Um, she's like she. Anyways, yeah. So go to million mask movement. Millionmaskmovement.com. Or just go on Facebook. Yeah, that has links to the the music. Uh, the music, the w the websites, the Facebook pages, everything, and also <coughs> where I got this in Mariaville, Harley Davidson rendezvous. The reason why I went there is my brother's been going there for years, but it's like a massive, massive campground. And the reason why I went there is because I, I spoke with the owner of the campground, and I'm looking to rent the property to put on the Million Mask Movement Truth Fest. And I've already got like Steve Grant. His, his website's realsteveGrant.com. Uh, J10, um, Ghost Rider, David Novinsky. Uh, I've already I've talked to Dead Presidents. They might they might come. Uh, Immortal Technique, Vinny Paz. If you if you know who they are, they're like underground rap artists. I've I've talked to them. Um, Headshots. They're actually from a, from my area, Massachusetts, South Shore, Mass. They're pretty they're pretty fierce. But basically, it's it's gonna be like um, what I want to do. My idea is to put on because I went to Woodstock '99, and it's like I want to put on like a Woodstock type event, like fri like doors open at like you know Friday early in the morning, all the way till Sunday or even Monday morning, and it would be like a three day event. But and basically, my idea is to use the music because people like are attracted to music. 
no matter where you, you hear a song, you like it, it's like, you know, but I want to use the music to draw the people in, and it's also truth music. And then from there, like, there'll be like concerts throughout the day, and then like a main concert at night for the Friday night, and then the Saturday night. But throughout the day, just like this, you would have like booths and everything set up. There would be one booth, for, like Dan Johnson, he's actually here. I talked to him earlier, he's the founder of Panda. You know, they would have like this tent, like this, Panda, you want to come in, anything you want to know about the NDAA, then like another booth with for chemtrails and GMOs, and then, you know, ev like everything and anything, like Monsanto, like all kinds of shit, like everything. So bring the people in, and I'm trying to get like Mortal Technique and Pass, some of the like, the, the more, the more well-known artists, because they would draw in the crowd, and then they're like, yeah, we're going to Moto Technique. And while I'm going to Moto Technique, it's like, oh, what the fuck is this? It's like, oh, GMO, what the fuck is a GMO? And then you're reading it, like, oh, shit, you learned something. You know what I mean? Then you go over here, it's like, oh, chemtrails. It's like, oh, wait, Steve Grant's performing. Go see Steve Grant. And then freaking, oh, what's this? Oh, fucking Monsanto. It's fucking, you know what I mean? Like, use the music to draw people in and educate people at the same time. That's, like, what I'm pushing for. And I just went to the rendezvous and I thought it was fucking insane. It was like 40,000 bikers. But like that area, it's, it's like a beautiful property. It's nice. They have the campsites. They have like, you can get port, there's porta parties. You can even shoot. It's just like a, it's, it's a huge event. And um, that's my basic next project. When it's going to happen, I don't really know. But hopefully sooner than later. Because like I said, I'm impatient. I don't really like wait for shit. Especially change. Especially when my like, kids are dying in the street. Usually people don't really give a fuck unless it's happening to them or in the front yard, but yeah. my mother always told me I had a vivid imagination. It's probably a curse. <laughs> God, well, to her anyway. Because like, he always used to get me in some shit. But <coughs> I can like see those little kids like getting fucking blown up and dying. Either that or just like laying there, bag of bones and dying because they don't have food to eat. But there are other people in this world that they sit down for dinner and they have enough food for one person that could feed 15. And their dog. And their dog's part of the horse too. And their birthday cake and their dog. That's another thing too, like people talk about Obama and Bush and it's like blah blah blah. This whole, that leads back to like the, the whole political party bullshit. It doesn't fucking matter. There's always going to be an asshole. There's always going to be a, a party of assholes underneath him. And they all need to fucking help. Like, people talk like, you know, like people are like, oh, I'm going to run for office and that. It's like, no, no, you're not. If they don't want you in, you're not going to get in, and even if you do get in, you're not going to fucking change the system. People, if the system is broken, but no, it, like the system, like the saying goes, the system's not broken, it was designed this way. But your fucking ass it wasn't, because that's that's what the system is. The, the system is running right now just the way they want it to. You know? And like, the, like that's what that's what it all boils down to unity. It's like, you get the poor first over here. They ever hear the saying? It was like, I think it was uh, Henry Kissinger. Let them march all they want, just as long as they pay the taxes. I'll tell you right now, I'm 35 years old, I haven't paid. I worked fucking two hours. I worked, actually, I worked three and a half hours at a Burger King when I was 14 years old. I walked in there one day, actually, three and a half hours, two days. The first, the first day I was there for two days, I was like, fuck this shit. And I left. The second day I went in for an hour and a half. I was like, fuck this shit. I was 14 years old, that's the last time I paid taxes. Fuck taxes. You want to go for the throat? Take this fucking taxes. I'm telling you. How do they pay for those fucking bombs that kill those fucking kids? With they borrow it. No. <laughs> they borrow it on your, like, I'm not saying yours specifically, but... Yeah, you to us. In my personal opinion, I think anybody that pays taxes should be charged with crimes against humanity because 60 cents on the dollar goes to fucking pay for those bombs that are fucking killing people in other fucking countries. Pay for all those fucking armored fucking cars that, those militarized vehicles that don't belong on our streets, but they're here, okay, you know what I mean? Actually, to tell you the truth, over the last, like, say, at best guess, in the last 30 days, I'd, I'd say, like, 17 to 20 out of those days, I've seen Black Hawk helicopters flying from Boston to Plymouth. I've seen them fucking went on my way here. Like, what the fuck are they doing? You know what I mean? Like, you know, do you know how much, it, like, I would have to work for, like, six months to be able to, like, afford what it costs to fly a Black Hawk helicopter for, like, a few hours. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, what are you doing? Like, you know how many... Say, say like 30, 30 grand. Give me 30 grand. You know what I could do with 30 grand? I could feed fucking, 
how many people? Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? It's a, you just see the picture, there's like it's some picture going on like Facebook, it's like, a dude that's paid like $18,000 a year is firing an $80,000 fucking rocket at a fucking $500 fucking suspect. Yeah. And you know he won't I mean? make that much money in his entire life. Exactly. Dude, Tomahawk Cruise Missile costs $80,000 for one of them. Bush, Iraq War, the shock and awe, fuck the, you know, the shock, what do you call yeah. the shock and awe? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Who owns, who, who owns the company that supplied all those fucking bombs and missiles and all that shit? Yeah. The name of the company? Is Hal Burton. Oh. Who owns it? All right, he doesn't own it, but he owns like 54% of the stocks. Yeah. Dick Cheney. Come on, who's president? Well, well wait, wait, who's he? He's vice president. Now you get Dick Cheney. No, he was president. <laughs> Right? Come on, George Bush lost the election. Oh wait a minute, we gotta write, we, we gotta recount Florida's votes. Who's the who's the governor of Florida? Jeff Bush. Jeff Bush. That right there was the last time I fucking voted. As far as vote, I voted before. It's like you know, my parents, my brother, like, oh, you gotta vote. I'm like, yeah, I fucking want everybody. Dude, when Obama ran for president, the only reason I went was because the weed was on the ballot. You know, to decriminalize the weed. I went in there and I was like, decriminalize the weed? And it's like, who? You know, I was like, for president, it says like the names and it says like check box and then it's like other. I fucking weed and I wrote my own name. <laughs> what was that? Uh, they had just had an election and none of the above actually won the ballot. Oh, I heard. Did that. you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, it was, it, was, it, was, it was some law where they had the candidates and then they had to, in that jurisdiction, or you don't like any of them. Yeah, they had that none of the above, and none of the above one. Awesome. <laughs> Voting is the biggest fucking joke. If you, like, it, it's completely fucking useless. It, They're fake anyway. It, like, it was right. They had, like, hundreds of videos. Like, in one town, they, they took all the votes, because it usually it's like a school or a library that you go to vote at, and they put them in this room. And there were no locks in the doors, they put this like tape over the door, like the evidence tape, you know, crime scene tape. And like, the reporter just walked up and like pulled the tape off the door and opened the door and they closed the door and then put the tape right back. Like, come on, like, get the fuck out of here, man, come on. Vo voting is the biggest fucking, it's like, voting leads into the whole separate party, the political party. Fuck your political party. You know what, I have my own political party. I'm a fucking human being, and I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want, as long as I'm not fucking with you. As long as you're not fucking with me, that's it. So, hey. And as far as the million mass movement, like I, I, I said, like you know, I'm not, I don't really plan on doing another one. I don't really want to. Like I'm impatient. Like I'm not gonna. Like I've, I've been watching like so many different videos on like every different type of demonstration, protest from like Black Panthers to like, Occupy. Everybody, and it's just like, it's, it's the same, it, it just keeps going, keeps going, it's going. And then what pops into my head is like, hey, let them fucking protest all they want, as long as they pay their taxes, and these protests just keep happening. But what if all those protests happen at the same fucking time? You in the back there! <laughs> the thing you were saying about, like, different political parties, is it's not even that, like, it's one side or the other, it's like, the only issues that they argue about are issues that are insignificant. insignificant bullshit. Yeah. Stuff like gay marriage, abortion. Like hey, if you want to do what you want to do. If you want to marry a dude and you're a dude, fucking do it. Exactly. If you're a girl and you want to marry a girl, fucking do it. Exactly. But why are you going to give $575 million to Egypt when there's starving fucking people in your own or fucking country? Million dollars a day Just recently, a day Obama released it to Egypt. And I'm not saying don't help them, motherfucker. I'm, help, motherfucker. If motherfuckers over there hungry, you want a cheeseburger, dude? You know what I mean? But, like, check this out. You say you have a roof, a hole in your roof, right? And you get a hole in your roof. Are you going to fix his roof before you fix yours? Fix your own fucking house before you help somebody else. And I'm not saying don't help somebody else. You know, you can fix your own house while helping somebody else. But don't be like, yeah, fuck my roof, and I'm going to go over here and drop $600 million. Like, really? Like, fucking Detroit, Michigan looks like fucking Beirut. You know what I mean? And Israel gets $8 billion a day. A day. 
Yeah, so a, lot of the, a lot of the funds we send overseas, yeah. like, okay. specifically, okay. comes back to yeah, where are those where are those funds coming from? Oh yeah, there are tax dollars. Okay, that go. You over. know how you can stop that? Good. Stop paying taxes. <laughs> <laughs> go for the fucking throat. Yeah. You pay the congressman. Congressman, I'm not going to ask you how much money you make in the air, uh, you know, whatever. But I mean, you might make more than 128 or 158 thousand dollars a year. But if you don't. You're paying somebody that does, and they do nothing. Oh, you're, they do you're a paying, lot. You're pay, <laughs> they do, they a, do lot. a lot of nothing. Yeah, yeah, they do a lot. To, you're paying uh, those yeah. congressmen. You're paying those congresswomen. You're paying fucking the president. You're paying for those bombs. Yeah. You're paying for all that shit. And they're talking about we're broke. Hillary Clinton, what's up? Bullshit. Oh, we worked in the way up there. We're fucking broke. Are we just making it by? Bitch, sell one of your fucking $20 million fucking mansions. Fuck you, you fucking broke. You make more money in fucking five fucking years than I make in my fucking lifetime. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, fuck that shit. Like, these motherfuckers need to wake the fuck up. And I'm not saying, I'm telling you, right? I will never, like, I'm, I, I got the Second Amendment fucking shirt on, man. Like, like, I'm not saying, like, I forget. Oh, who the fuck was it? Somebody, I just watched this fucking, this shit recently. And the dude said, actually, it was fucking Huey P. Newton. He says, some people don't support guns, some people don't like guns. But sometimes you need to pick up, I'm not saying pick up a gun, use it. But sometimes if you, if you don't like guns and you don't support guns, sometimes you need to pick up a gun to, to stop them. And it's just like, and I'll tell you right now that the May Mass movement, the May Mass March, from the very fucking beginning, in bright, bold, like big, bold letters on the fucking ad, on the, on the flyer, like, we do not emphasize violence. We do not. The violence is the like, no violence. The violence will not be tolerated. However, like, violence will not be tolerated. But if you get it by that chair, you come over and punch me in the face. You know. You know what I mean? Like so. And 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 the my my my. I don't like really using like my personal opinions, but the, like my personal opinion, like I'm gonna have. I I have guns. Like I. I Guns are necessary. Like I don't usually like hunt animals. I don't like those are there for what they're Two -legged what, what they're for. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if you fucking like like FIFA, they came and evicted over a hundred thousand people out of the fucking houses. Like I said, if you fucking come to my house and try to get me out, if you, you put a gun in my face and fucking tell me to get the fuck out of my house, <laughs> okay, game on. Is that it? Like fuck that, man. Like those people like. How can you just how can you just like kick people out of the fucking houses to build a parking lot to play soccer? Like, fuck you. Like, fuck you. It, like I mean, I could say say I want to build a soccer field right here, and I could be like, hey, you live here, would you want to sell it? If they say no, then fuck me and my soccer field. I'll go somewhere else. But like you can't just be like, fuck my house. Like, no, fuck that. Yeah, there's a price those people I'm sure would have been willing to pay. They're right. They're right. I mean, and that's the way they could have and should have been. Yeah, but even if, even if they, even if they did that, like, and, and I'll tell you one thing. I, I one of one of the dudes I work with, I'm good friends with him. He's from Brazil. He's been away for like six, seven years. And he even said, like, you know, like, first of all, he said, when 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 the World Cup comes, so will the war. And it, it's, he had an interesting point. He said, because if in Brazil. I'm gonna tell you, I know some Brazilians. There's some crazy motherfuckers, right? Well, never mind that the fact that the World Cup, like the sport of their country, is in Brazil. What's gonna happen? Say, 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 say FIFA paid millions of dollars to buy that property and those people just live in luxurious, right? What happened? What's gonna happen in Brazil? <laughs> You think you see a college team fan right now, riding down the streets? You can talk about a fucking country. Like, that's another point too. And he actually, he, the point of the story is, he even told me that like FIFA runs like the World Cup, and FIFA like paid Brazil, like they they built the stadium, or whatever. They're the cause of all the shit, right? But the Brazilian, he he told me he doesn't know obviously, like, you know what I mean? But he told me that the Brazilian government is gonna pay. For the, for the title. They're gonna pay to, like, they're gonna pay off, you know, they're gonna scheme that shit. Because they all, I mean, what, why they're doing it? Because they wanna win? Or, 
they know what's going to happen if they lose. But a lot of politics uh, in soccer. Yeah. Anywhere where there's a lot of money. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Don't get, I'm not even going to bring up 9/11 because. <laughs> we'll be here for another hour. Ten years. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for listening. Well done.